I have a great book that's all about, it's called At Ease, it's all about guys hanging out on battleships in the 1940s, and my collection is entitled At Ease, which is kind of inspired by military guys, sort of at ease. That's how I want guys to feel. I don't want them to feel too uptight in the suits or too shrunken, and I think that that's what's going on right now. So the guys are, it's a little bit more loose. How did you reinterpret military for spring 2007? The way that I did it, I think, is through color. It's a lot of lighter colors. It's not so hard-edged. The silhouettes are much softer. They're kind of beaten in. But there's a lot of texture within the military. But it's very, very uh, head-to-toe, monochromatic, and mixed with saddle shoes and things that are probably will sweeten it up a little bit. So right now, for me, the real challenge and my intention is to marry this world of tailored clothing, which can sometimes be a little bit serious with more casual sportswear. Mixing it up a lot more, because I think guys are still um, a little not sure about what that means to be casual. I see more and more individual looks and the suits are getting yeah. tighter and narrower. Well, definitely suits are still hugely important and a lot of my business is really now building around suitings and dress shirts and ties, and that's what guys I think are investing a lot of money in. And what's the trials look like this season? Um, I'm showing the two really important things. I'm showing a lot of shorts, both full and narrow. The khakis are all really wide and very fluid and long. And the slim pan is just that. It's slim, it's not skinny. It's like the perfect pan for a lot of guys. And I really want to address that. So what I'm showing at a fashion show is really what I'm selling to my customer. Are you introducing any new accessories this season? Yes, um, this is my second season as creative director at Gurkha. So we did a, um, a really nice spring grouping that mirrors what we started working with for fall. So you'll see a lot of Gurkha bags on the runway and new interesting shades of leather and linen and leather mix. But a lot of great like just work bags and things. What I love about Gurkha is that it is very much under the radar. It is a call for people who collect it. The bags are still made in Connecticut in the same factory from 30 years ago. And then otherwise, others, other accessories, I'm working with Sperry Topsiders and just taking back, taking a lot of really classic pieces that I used to wear maybe in the 80s or that I remember my dad wearing and bringing them forward again. They feel very refreshing. Well, fantastic, John, and congratulations. Thank I look you. forward to seeing your show. Thank you. Thank you.